Well, hi guys. Let's have a look at Viva Magenta, Pantone's Colour of the Year, and how we can make a Pantone-based colour swatch in Affinity Design a version 2 on the iPad. Pretty simple, really. It's very straightforward to find your equivalent RGB or hex colour numbers. Viva Magenta is given by Pantone themselves in the following snippet. The hex equivalent of Pantone 181750 will be BB2649. Pantone Colour of the Year 2023, Viva Magenta. So let's begin by setting up our own swatch palette. What are our web safe ranges? That's what we'll be using. We need a blank canvas to place the master images on. Images used in this exercise are sourced from the internet and can be found under Viva Magenta. Very easy. A Google search will reveal them. Thousands of them actually. They're also available through Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. Now, the swatch. With all our images on the canvas, you can start setting up a palette. We're going to use those images there to create our palette colours. So open the colour panel and select swatches at the bottom. It should probably default to the colours palette, or it may perhaps default to some other colour scheme. Depends on what you've been using, perhaps. However, this doesn't matter at this stage. Select the sandwich at the top right. We're going to add an application palette, and that's the first option on the top there. It will then be available across any designer project you begin, not just this one. Select Add Application Palette. In the pop-up, give the new palette a name. I've used New Viva Magenta and press OK. There's your new blank palette. Let's start adding the range of magenta colours associated with the Pantone 181750 um, Pantone colour. Now, be aware that designers' mm, colour palette and swatches panel behave slightly oddly at the moment. It's not a finished product. Note that already variations are creeping in in various places. Pantone themselves call it 181750. Others are calling it 171750 and even 17750. So be careful, there are differences. It's not listed at all in our own colour selections, although there is a magenta in the Pantone system. Now, the inbuilt range. There are, of course, built in Pantone magenta ranges, but with no real way of locating a specific one, they are not really useful. So let's do our own. That's the built in Pantone colours, and you can see there's a magenta there, which is pretty close, and you could probably use that um, at a pitch. But we've got all our colours on, on a project there, so first grab the colour picker and drag the large circle over to the middle dot of the five dots in the image. Centre it cleanly. When you release it, your selected colour indicator will change. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. With your indicator now on the first of the colours in that range, it will change the selector when you release it. So you can see the big circle on the left and the little circle up the top has changed when I've released um, the pen. Now tap on the selector dot and it will change the main selector colour. Your palette display may keep going back to its default. Just reopen your new palette window. It's a bit of a nuisance. As I say, it seems to be a work in progress. Now tap the sandwich again and select Add Current Fill to Palette. That's the current fill of the bigger dot. It will add it to the palette. Unfortunately, the display will revert to recent colours. We can live this for now. Go back to our new Viva Magenta palette. Back at our new Viva Magenta palette, here we have the first of the colours displayed in the palette found online. Now, Pantone colours are best represented in the CMYK colour space. Before I move on to the colours there, we'll come back to this. Now, selecting our hex coded colour, we can immediately see that the Pantone Viva Magenta hex codes are fine. But if we want 
to send to a print house, we need CMYK. What does Affinity Colour Selection give us as the CMYK equivalent? The CMYK equivalent is 0 cyan, 80% magenta, 61% yellow and 27% black. So you can see the CMYK colours directly relate to the, the uh, RGB colours which directly relate to the Pantone colours. You can see from the examples that Viva Magenta refers to a whole range of colours based around that one name. A family of colours actually. The example here is a graduated range of the five colours in the dots but spread across a fill pattern. Now you can see the hex coded square there 181750 BB2649. That's the actual Pantone colour. So you can set that one in your palette as the master colour if you like. So continuing with the palette creation of the five dots, I've got this palette, and there they all are. They're listed there nice and clearly, and you can use that as your master palette, if you like, for your own designs. And finally, using the advertising image from Pantone, I can extract this palette, which I did on the desktop, extract this palette range. And there's the whole range of colours in that advertisement. And they're put into a Viva Magenta full palette colour range. Just about every colour you want on that, on that family of colours is in that palette. But unfortunately at this stage, you still need the desktop to, to create that entire palette in one go. So, the rest is up to you on the iPad. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share the video with your friends. I'm sure they'll appreciate it.